everyone, this is Sharon from Sharon at Sea Travel. Land vacations are on a rise right now, especially going to Mexico. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share some of my Mexico tips with you right after this. We have traveled to Cabo San Lucas many times, mostly by cruise ship, although we recently flew down there for the second time taking our second land vacation in Cabo San Lucas. So we got a little more of a feel um, for just Mexico in general and Cabo San Lucas. So I'm going to share with you a few tips that um, I feel are important when you're visiting Cabo San Lucas or Mexico in general. But these are going to be things that you do not want to do. So these are my 10 don't tips for Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. After watching the video, let us know in the comments below if you have any extra tips that you would like to add to our tips for Cabo San Lucas to help everyone else out there. And before we get started, if you like cruise content, travel content, please consider subscribing to our channel and click that notification bell so you'll get notified when we post new content or go live. We go live every Monday night from 6 p.m. or at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time and we talk all about cruise, travel, and so much more. So come on and join the fun. Now let's get back to these tips. All right, number one, when arriving to Cabo San Lucas at the airport, you are gonna be greeted by multiple people trying to sell you things. A lot of them may just be trying to sell you a ride to your resort. Well, um, don't get confused. A lot of times that ride to the resort may include a little bit of a high um, promotion sales pitch there. They will try to get you sometimes to other resorts. They will want you to sit through timeshares. They may offer you um, another stay there at another time saying that you can come back for really cheap. You know, just come over here and sit through this little sales presentation. It'll only take 15 minutes. Something along those lines. Well, you know, we fell, that, we fell for that years ago. It is never just 15 minutes. It is like a whole day and once you get started on that if they start to ask you whether or not you have a credit card you know they're gonna try and sell you something because they want to make sure that you can pay for it nothing's really free out there just remember that but just keep going through the airport um, don't stop don't talk to them just say no thank you and keep going because they are always trying to sell something whether it's just a product another resort stay a timeshare which is the most commonly think, known thing um, that they try to sell there. So just keep on moving through the airport, out those front doors to where you can grab a taxi or your transportation will be waiting for you, which is gonna lead into number two here. Number two is making sure you have your transportation set up prior to arriving. So don't just take a ride um, from anyone offering a ride at the airport. It's best to set up your transportation prior to arriving. Now, some resorts have transportation that you can pre-book before with them. Also, private transportation. Um, you can find local companies online that are reputable, um, that are great options to take as well. But always set up your transportation as well. They will usually tell you to meet out the front doors across the little street there's like a covered area there and that's usually where they are all standing with their signs held up and they will have your name usually listed on the sign that they are waiting for you so much more relaxing just to head out those doors find the sign with your name on it with your transportation get in the car and have a nice relaxing ride to the resort and if you book private transportation usually they'll give you a little bit of a tour talk to you tell you a little bit about um, um, Cabo San Lucas on the way, give you some recommendations of maybe places to go and eat and things like that. It's just much more relaxing. And, and we will put a couple names in the description box below of two different companies that we have used in the past that have given us awesome transportation and service while we have been in Cabo San Lucas. And sometimes they even have a few drinks waiting for you as well. And number three, you don't really want to use ATMs if you can help it. They will charge you an international fee if doing so. Um, so bring cash. That is my tip, bring plenty of cash. Now, with saying that, 
don't put all your eggs in one basket so to speak don't which means don't put all your cash together in one place and keep it there you know I will say anytime you travel there is the opportunity for theft so separate your money out into maybe like two or three different places in um, you know in a handbag luggage wallet other places but just kind of separate it out in different places so if something does happen to some of your cash um, you will still have some one thing my husband and I do is we separate the cash out and we each carry half and then we actually each you know put it in a couple two or three different places between ourselves as well so it's usually in four to six different places so you know if something happened to some we would still have plenty of cash for our vacation a question I receive frequently from some of my clients who are traveling to Mexico is do I need to bring pesos well no you do not need to bring pesos to Mexico Mexico does accept the US dollar just about everywhere in Mexico especially any type of tourist um, area and now the only downside is you may receive some pesos back in change but that's okay you can pay for other things with pesos if you go out to eat use those the pesos then to pay for um, a dinner a meal um, or you may want to use them for tipping actually that is a great idea to use them for tipping the locals love when you tip them in pesos and if you still have a couple left over bring them home for a souvenir so don't worry about having to go exchange your money for pesos just stick with the US dollar and number five if you were shopping at any of the little local stores or stands around Mexico Cabo San Lucas um, don't pay the price that they first asked you know pretty much everything's negotiable in Mexico um, in Cabo San Lucas you can you know sometimes something may say five dollars or they may tell you five dollars when you ask how much and you can come back and say no I'll give you three dollars and they may take it or they may say no four dollars you know they may kind of um, go back and forth with you a little bit if you really don't want to pay that price walk away and most of the time they will come back at you with that original price you wanted but you can just about in every case get it somewhat cheaper than they originally asked and number six here's another tip about shopping so when you go to the beach um, in Cabo San Lucas there are vendors swarming everywhere a lot of the little restaurants either at the whether they're at the beach or just in other um, tourist areas there are usually vendors walking up and down the walkway so if you're eating outside by where the little fence is to the restaurant um, you will get bombarded sometimes with um, vendors trying to sell you things my tip is do not buy anything from them at least not while you're there eating or you're enjoying your beach time if you really really see something that you just cannot live without wait until you are ready to leave to purchase it and then get the heck out of there because once you buy from one they will all come swarming in you know trying to get you to buy from them as well here's one that most people hear a lot about and that is do not drink the water that's right do not drink the water in Mexico just about every resort restaurant um, there's local convenience stores everywhere sells bottled water um, the ice machines at the restaurants and any kind of touristy area is the ice is always fine so you do not need to worry about your blended drinks any drinks or anything like that with ice in them but if you are really concerned about it you know just ask at the restaurant ahead of time to make sure their water is filtered but in most cases it is always filtered number eight do not forget to pack your sunscreen and if you do buy some while you're there make sure you apply that sunscreen before going out in the sun or to the beach you know it may not seem that warm certain times of the year in Mexico but that sun is very strong and it will get you and you will thank me for it later and number nine when booking a shore excursion or a tour don't just kind of go off with any local there that offers you a cheap tour I know sometimes the, the price sounds good and they seem honest and on the up and up but you just never know always do some research ahead of time but, you know plan your vacation out plan things and book online ahead of time bring your email confirmation with you of the price you negotiated um, and what the tour is going to be have all that information with you you will thank me for it later you'll have a much better tour you'll enjoy yourself and you will feel safe 
Another thing, um, we sometimes do some research on companies, but we also check TripAdvisor for um, reviews, recommendations. Also, we'll look up YouTube videos on a specific company and see what's out there, if anyone has any reviews on them, things like that. And once again, I did say TripAdvisor. We don't ever book through TripAdvisor because they those are third-party vendors, but um, TripAdvisor takes a little bit of the money when you book through them and then the locals don't get it. So I would just go directly to that company and book, but TripAdvisor is a great place to get some reviews. So do your research ahead of time, pre-book your um, tours and excursions, and have an enjoyable day. And number 10, last but not least, always keep your passport in a safe location. You do need a passport to travel to Mexico to and from, and you want to make it back home safely. So always know where your passport is. If you were planning on going out and maybe partying a little bit or something like that, do not take your passport with you. You won't need it while you're out and about. Keep it somewhere locked up in the safe in your resort, um, somewhere safe in your luggage, just somewhere that you know it's going to be there when you return. <laughs> Keep that passport safe. You're going to need it to return home. And that would not be a good way to end your vacation is losing your passport. Hope my tips were helpful on things not to do when you are visiting Cabo San Lucas if you are planning a visit there in the near future. Um, you know, traveling to Mexico, Cabo San Lucas has become very popular right now during the pandemic. Although I will say all of my tips apply anytime you travel to Cabo San Lucas, pandemic or not. So there you go. Thanks for watching and safe travels.